This will be the third video for our section 5.2. We're going to find the values of X and Y. So notice how we have two triangles here, and we're going to use the theorems that we know and the information we know about triangles to find the value of X and Y. We only know one angle measure in this triangle. We know two angle measures in this triangle. So we could use our triangle angle sum theorem to figure out the value of X. 100 plus 30 is 130 degrees. We know every triangle has to have 180 degrees. So the value of X would be 50. So that angle is 50 degrees. This angle up top would be obtuse, or I'm sorry, this triangle would be obtuse scalene. All the angles are different. One of them is bigger than 90. Now we still need to figure out what this angle is. Remember your vertical angles. So this angle is 100 degrees. If that's 100 and that's 40, that's 140 degrees. What's left over for the other angle? It would be a 40 degree angle as well. So this is also an obtuse triangle. But notice how it's isosceles, because two of those angles match. Other things you could do here, notice how we have alternate interior angles, but they're not the same. So that means these lines are not parallel. And notice how that's indicated over here as well. These two angles are not the same. These lines are not going to be parallel.